All right, so I haven't done a road trip video in a while, so today I'm gonna be doing a road trip. I do a lot, actually. I go to visit my parents over in Indianapolis. It's about 200 miles, and I'd like to classify this as kind of a medium road trip because I can't make it there the whole way on a single charge. I guess I could, but it would require me charging up to 100%, and if I lose any kind of efficiency, it's, it gets a little tight. So I like to at least stop once throughout the road trip and fuel up or get my charge in. So our plan is to just drive about 100 miles and get about halfway and stop in Richmond, Indiana. There's a supercharger there. So I'm gonna stop there and fuel up. So I forgot to mention before we left, but we actually left with 66% on my battery, which I think is the lowest we've ever started with on this road trip. And part of that is because I wanted to test out these V3 superchargers at Richmond, Indiana. And I were, was at these superchargers in the past and they didn't ramp up all the way to that full 250 kilowatts. We're gonna see if they're at that power today and see how fast we can charge. We're probably about 10 minutes away now, so we'll check in when we get to the supercharger. Alright, so we ramped up to like 200 kilowatts, which is pretty fast. Not the full 250 kilowatts, which is the max, but still pretty fast. So we're only going to need to stop for maybe like 15-20 minutes at the most to get to our final destination. So we've been driving for a while now, and as you can probably see behind me, it's starting to get dark out. We hit a ton of traffic on the way here. It's been kind of a boring drive, quite honestly. I didn't say much about the supercharger, but we ended up stopping for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I just ran to the bathroom real quick. We didn't stop for food or anything. Honestly, a very quick charge. We were at about 20 some percent, got all the way up above 60 um, in just that short time. So really wasn't inconvenience at all. I needed to get up and stretch my legs a little bit anyway. So we're getting very close to my parents' houses who we're actually visiting and I'll kind of show you the charging setup there when we pull in. So just pulled in here, got the charger hooked up on the 120 volt outlet and plugged in the car. But as you can see, it is extremely slow. So we're gonna be plugged in overnight to get any sort of charge. So we're just now leaving and charged up overnight. I plugged in at like 8 p.m. last night just on the 120 volt outlet and charged up almost to 60%. So 60% is more than enough to get to our charger in Richmond, Indiana. So I'm just gonna plug in that supercharger now and we'll be on our way. Okay, so we just stopped at the Richmond, Indiana supercharger. We're plugged in right now. It's estimating about 35 minutes to get up to 90%, but we do not need that much to get home. So we're probably only gonna charge to like 70 or 80%, which will take even less time. Trip has been really good so far. Autopilot's been doing pretty well. I've noticed only when I am taking exits does it kind of overshoot those lane changes and 
not a fan of that because it can be a little bit jarring. But temperature and everything has been really nice for driving. So it's been about 70 degrees. So efficiency really hasn't been hurt that bad. We're actually at 261 watt hours per mile, which is about average for the Model 3. So I'm getting the rated amount of range. I think part of the reason our efficiency has actually been pretty good is because we have hit a little bit of construction where I'm driving very slow, almost at a standstill. And that's when electric cars are very efficient when they're kind of in stop and go traffic because you're not uh, using as much energy to move the car around. So it is estimating right now that we will only have to charge for about 10 more minutes to get home, but we're probably going to overcharge a little bit just because I don't have a home charger right now. So I want to have a little bit of charge when we actually get home. This supercharger is actually at a mire here, and the only food options that we can really walk to are Subway and not really feeling that right now. So after we're done charging, we're actually going to stop and either get McDonald's or Culver's. We're not sure yet. so we just made it back we're gonna start unpacking all our stuff but overall trip was really easy <laughs> uh the one trip we made or one stop we made at the supercharger charge up to like 75 percent at probably like 20 25 minutes max uh and we just arrived with 30 percent remaining so uh overall pretty easy drive autopilot did pretty well a couple issues with navigator on autopilot but hopefully that kind of gets smoothed out with some more software updates but Thank you for checking out this road trip. If there's something I didn't cover here you want me to do in a future video, definitely let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.